Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how you can lock any of your apps on your iPhone using your Face ID, Touch ID or even a passcode whichever authentication method you use on your iPhone. Now the process is fairly simple and you only need to follow a few simple steps to achieve this. Now before we get into all that make sure to smash that like button it really helps out a lot for this video and this channel to do much much better so make sure you leave a like on the video. Before I show you guys the steps, I want to give a shout out to the Reddit user who posted about this on the shortcut subreddit. It is an amazing idea and it really, really works great. Now what you need to do, first of all, go to the shortcuts app and go to automations. Tap on create personal automation and then go to app here and tap on choose. Once you tap here, we'll get a list of all the apps that you have on your device. Right here, you can choose the apps that you want to lock. It doesn't matter where you choose like stock apps, third party apps, any app you want to see here we have Instagram, we have any like these apps here that we want to lock, it doesn't matter, you can choose any apps and as many apps as you want and of course you can also edit this list anytime you want, I will show you guys later how to do that. Now tap done here and tap the next button, tap on add action and search for start timer. So here we have start timer, tap on minutes there and switch to seconds and then on seconds there enter one and click next now make sure you disable ask before running because it won't work if you don't disable that click the dumb button and now you're pretty much good to go the next step you need to do is go to the clock app and go to the timer section tap on when timer ends and just scroll all the way down here and choose stop playing once you have done that you click set now you're good to go and you will see those apps that you choose right there are now locked. You can see after one second that app is locked and you will actually need to unlock using Face ID, Touch ID or a passcode to enter that app. So let's just try it out. And you can see once I authenticate with Face ID, it will actually go into the app. Now this method is amazing and it works really good. So you can see here we have calculator, we can choose here Instagram, we just lock this as well and you can see in a second it's locked and you won't be able to actually have access to the app without unlocking the device using Face ID, Touch ID or a passcode. Now there you will notice a lot of notifications that come from the shortcuts app every time you open one of these apps that you have locked. There's a solution for that and it's fairly simple as well. Just open the settings app and go to the screen time settings and tap on see all activity. Scroll all the way down until you see notifications. You will have shortcuts here. Now you won't be able to actually access this on the today's date. Just switch here a day back like this and now you will have the ability to go into the shortcuts notification settings and just go ahead and disable this and now you're good to go you won't have those notifications anymore now let me show you guys how you can easily edit the list of the locked apps go to shortcuts and go to automations and find your automation right there tap on it and just tap right here at the apps tap here and you can choose as many apps as you want you can disable once that you had enabled anything you want here click the dumb button and go back here click done once again and you're good to go now the apps have been edited and you have new apps that you have locked or removed the old ones that's the simple way to actually lock any app that you want on your device using face id touch id or passcode of course since apple doesn't have actually a feature to do that we have to do these like things to actually achieve that but this one is actually pretty good and by far is the best method that we have achieved until today using these tricks on ios so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave a like on this one and we'll see you guys on the next video